Michael here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about edge detection and smart radius. So in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to use the refine brush tool and how to extract complex images. So let's dive into the computer and get started. So here we are at Photoshop, and you can see right here, we have a beautiful picture of this beautiful girl with her very curly hair. So the first step that we need to do right here is, of course, select your preferred selection tool. So in my case, I'm going to use the magic wand tool and select this layer and go ahead and select the background and select inverse to easily select the subject. Now, go ahead and click here, select and mask. So once you click that, switch to this view on the view mode. Go ahead and click overlay. Now on this area, you can see right here the areas that we need to clean up. So just go ahead and adjust the radius. I guess one or two would do. So in my case, I'm going to use one and make sure that you have smart radius clicked, well checked. So this thing would help you with the hair areas. So now, by using here the, um, this tool, the Refine Edge Brush tool, just go ahead and just select the outside area and start cleaning those white thingamabobs that you can see on the hair area. Okay. Now we're cleaning it up. And that should do it. Now, in order for you to check if that is actually clean, all you need to do is go back here to the view mode area and change your view mode to black and white. So as you can see right here right now, we have this kind of cloudy, smoky, ghostly effect. So we don't want those on our picture. So we're just going to use this tool right here. This is the brush tool. So you just go ahead and click this minus icon right here, which would subtract those white thingamabobs in our picture okay so right now deleting those not needed thing number bobs okay so there we go Okay, now once you're happy with cleaning up that area, those things that you see unnecessarily, all you need to do is now go back here to this transparent view, transparent view on layers. So as you can see right here, the hair is absolutely damaged. So in order for you to restore this back, all you need to do is go here to the... Um, Oh, there we go. Go to refinement and go ahead and adjust the smooth so this would smoothen out things. I guess this would be one. Our feather should be just in point, so we're just going to change this to point three. And contrast, just go ahead and increase the contrast. Okay. As you can see, that immediately fixes the hair. So I guess the value of 35 would do here. There we go. And also adjust here the shift edge. So maybe a little bit like 34 or something like that. Mm, just go ahead and check out the image if it's already good. And there we go. Once you're happy with the whole entire thing that you did, all you need to do right now is just go back here to this output settings. Just click this if it's not showing up. Click output settings and click here decontaminate colors. So that would immediately de decontaminate all the colors. And now click here output to new layer with layer mask. So that if you have a mistake or you want to do some changes, you could immediately fix that because it's a mask. So for instance, over here, and let me check if we have some things that we could delete right here. So, for an example, well, we can see anything right here. Well, it's a mess. So, 
you could just use the brush tool right here so for instance you want to delete some parts so you could just use your white ink so you could I guess delete I mean restore or you could use your black ink to delete and use your white ink to restore okay and there you go so you could go ahead and just play around with your respective image here is for instance I'm going to add here a new background and there we go we have extracted this lady from the original picture over here so from this one to this one Okay. So that's all for this tutorial guys. If you find the video helpful, just give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel. And also, if, if you want to learn about inventing media, just click this icon right here. It should pop up and it will redirect you to the company's site. And if you want to see a preview of what you could expect here from our Photoshop course, click this card right here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.